Stores, Connecticut, January 2012. In a lab at the University of Connecticut, theoretical physicist Ronald Mallet demonstrates his large-scale model of a time machine using a device called a ring laser that produces a circulating beam of light. The professor hopes to prove that the twisting light actually bends space, forming a loop in time. Now what's happening here is that these lasers, even though you can't see it, they're actually creating a circulating pattern of light. And that circulating pattern of light is actually twisting the empty space in here. The twisting of space will eventually lead to a twisting of time. In Einstein's theory, the two are connected. And that twisting of time will be where time travel is occurring. Because if you think of time as being a straight line, then if we twist space, then what will happen eventually is that the space will twist time into a loop. So breakthrough my work was to use light to manipulate time and that should allow for the possibility of going back in time using light. Although this is only a prototype, Mallet believes he may be able to create a working time machine in as little as 10 years. He believes the energy of the light beams will produce a gravitational field strong enough to drag a spinning neutron through time. Let's say I'll call the spin up a one, and I'll call spin down a zero. So imagine I send a stream of neutrons with spin up, spin up, spin down, spin up. What do you call that? That's binary code. So by using the spin of neutrons, I could send a binary code, which could be translated into a message. But could this technology ultimately be able to send larger objects through time, like a person, or a spacecraft. Fire. 